Hey friend, in this video, we're gonna be painting a Christmassy snowy landscape that you can paint in about 15 minutes. I mean, there's drying time, so that adds up the time. So like 10-ish to 15 minutes. And we're gonna use white gouache, we're gonna use salt, and it's really simple. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, so before we start painting this little wintry scene landscape, uh, I want you to have some table salt or pink salt will work on hand. I also have white gouache on hand for some snowy dusting vibes. Um, highly recommend having white gouache, but it's okay if you don't have it. And we're gonna be able to paint this scene in about 10 minutes or less. So you have to paint really quickly. Um, our horizon line is gonna sit about halfway down the paper. So I'm just gonna paint the sky first using my biggest brush, you can use an even bigger brush than the size 16. All of the supplies that I use are linked in the description of the video, but I'm gonna do a um, dark, dark midnight blue. So Prussian blue and Mars black mixture for the top half of the sky. And then it's gonna be like a pinky glow down by the horizon line. So I have a lot of water on my brush and I'm gonna make sure that this stays really wet so that the pink and the blue can blend together, but also once I add the white gouache and the table salt, you're gonna get this fun texture and snow look because your base layer is still wet. So I want this top to be a little bit darker. Grabbing a little more water as I drag this color down. And we're gonna go to about here with the sky. So I'm now gonna start adding in some pink. So I'm cleaning my brush off and I'm going to load up with Opera Rose, which is a very bright neon-y pink. I'm gonna go out here. We've got this fun, crazy fun purple happening in the middle. And I'm gonna just blend it in a little bit with this blue for more of that purple. And then snow. So from here, I'm gonna grab salt. And I'm gonna use my two fingers to kind of smush, smush it in my fingers and sprinkle around the sky. This is gonna create a little separation in these spots. The water just kind of pushes away from the salt. So it creates this fun snow texture. And then I'm also gonna do white gouache with my size two brush. that in for some snow, snowflakes falling snow. And once that dries, you're gonna see how that salt creates a fun texture. The more you poke a spot, the more it's gonna spread. So you can have bigger dots and smaller dots. We're gonna paint this layer with the trees once this dries, um, but we're gonna add maybe a hill here, hill here, and a hill here. So I'm just gonna bring my size 16 brush across with this blue-gray mixture using Prussian blue 
and burnt umber, and then just water to help it blend. And then we're gonna do another one here. And then we'll add our trees in. I use my size six brush, some burnt umber and Mars black. Using a slanted hold for the trunk. And then sap green, Prussian blue, and Mars black for the branches. Just a couple scattered trees, maybe another one right here. And then down here. So I'm kind of just smudging my brush around for these branches for a nice blendy, smooth Christmas look, Christmas tree look. Using the belly of my brush and kind of going back and forth It's not dry. These trees in the distance, neither is that. It's okay. We have to wait for that to, oops. <laughs> I have to wait for this to dry before I go any further. So this is all dry. You can swipe off, brush off the salt flakies. And now we can paint the background of trees, doing the same thing as we did in the foreground. I'm going to go over these chunks. So these trees should be a little bit smaller because they're in the background and a little bit more less or unsaturated. So I'm adding a bit more black to my mixture. some snowy bits, some snowflakes falling in the sky and snow on these trees. I'm gonna use white gouache. We have the white gouache that I'm using linked in the video in the description, so make sure you check it out. But I'm loading up with a thick amount of it so it can be opaque on these darker 
moments. You can also use a toothbrush or a big brush and kind of flick it for that random snow splatter look. Snow is falling down on Christmas town. Now on these branches, we've got some clusters of snow collected. Boom, it is Christmas, the fire is on. Bing Crosby or Nat King Cole is singing their way through this Christmas land, trees, fun, You're snow. just saying words now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's all, bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and had fun with these kind of different techniques using the salt and the white gouache vibe and adding white gouache to the, to the tree branches for snow. Um, let me know in the comments below how much you loved it, uh, how yours turned out, what your favorite part was to paint, maybe the surprising element of the salt or doing just the, the basic strokes for the hills, who knows? Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching and for tuning in and liking, subscribing, and commenting on our videos. It means the world, and I will see you in the next video.